Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have been working on my kids' bedroom as of recently. Um, I finally got the paint off of my hands. I painted the room, redid the whole thing, and I'm getting behind on content. But I wanted to do a video that was like super simple, super easy. I just got out of the shower after taking a two hour nap and it's, what time is it? It's 12.30 a.m. and uh, I woke up, I'm like, shit, I have to film. <laughs> So I just wanted to make a little quick video on how I'm, I do my eyebrows because I just always get compliments from you guys about my eyebrows. So I just wanted to sit down and share with you guys the easiest way that I do my eyebrows and how I get them to look the way that they do. And for this video, I kind of wanted to do a comparison of two brow pencils. This is a high-end and this here is a drugstore eyebrow pencil, which both of these are my absolute favorite. And I just wanted to share with you guys how I do my eyebrows with each one and you guys let me know which one you guys think that works best in my opinion I think they're both like the same obviously pricing is not the same and you get the same quality and the same type of color so if you guys are interested in seeing how I do my eyebrows quick simple easy tutorial then just go ahead and keep on watching no I'd rather be waking up with you Set up alone in your room, slept with the light on, waiting up for you. Don't, I don't wanna be. I absolutely love doing my makeup whenever I just get out of the shower and then I have a little um, towel wrap around my head because the hair is away from the face and I feel so clean, so refreshed. In this case, we're just doing eyebrows. I'm not gonna be doing my makeup. Actually, I might be doing some makeup we'll see so over on this side I'm gonna be doing my eyebrow using this drugstore brow pencil this one here is from Joa Beauty you can find Joa Beauty at your local CVS store which CVS is obviously open you guys can go ahead and check that out this brow pencil here is $8.99 at your local CVS but I am looking online and I'm seeing that on their website it retails for originally $10 on their website Joa Beauty website but it's $6.65 right now Am I, am I wrong? Yeah, so there's a sell on this. I, I just don't know why it's originally $10 on their website and then it's $8.99 at CVS. Maybe there's a sell going on at CVS? Um, no, it says regular price, it's $8.99. And then you also can buy one and you get one half off, which is such a good deal at CVS. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with doing this eyebrow using this one. And then for this brow pencil, this is this here is a Precisely brow pencil. I'm looking up how much it costs. I am on Benefits PR, so I don't really have to buy this, but I just kind of want to show you guys like a comparison. Okay, so the Precisely brow pencil is $24, and you can get this at Sephora, at Ulta, and also on Benefit Cosmetics' website. So this side's going to be the Benefit side. And this side's gonna be the Joe side. Let's go ahead and start to play around with my brows. You guys can see the shape of them. I do wanna mention that my eyebrows, like one of them is actually higher than the other. You guys can see that this one is obviously a little bit higher and this one's a little bit lower. This one grows upward, whereas this one kind of grows to the side. So it's definitely a challenge to get my eyebrows to look the same. I don't normally get them to look the same, but I get them to look similar, like a little bit related, you know? Okay, I made a video here on my YouTube channel on how I groom my eyebrows, how I do them myself. I don't like to get them waxed or threaded or anything. I like doing them myself. So I'll go ahead and link that video up here so you guys can go ahead and check that out. Now let's stop talking and let's go ahead and get into this brow pencil from Joa Beauty. So the first thing that I like to do is go right underneath. You guys see where this part ends? My eyebrows are kind of thin, so I like to make them a little bit thicker by going right under there and just creating that line. So once I have done that, I'm gonna go ahead and start to fill up this top part. You guys can see that on the other end it has like a little spoolie so I kind of, I'm gonna go back in here and just kind of comb the hairs down. I think eyebrow pencils just make it look 
like more natural looking brows so I'm gonna go in here now and I'm gonna go just flicking the pencil upwards and I'm gonna go in with the spoolie I'm gonna continue to fill in the little gaps so you guys can see of hair in this area, I like to keep it very natural looking, and then in this outer area, I like to go a little bit darker. For some reason, it's looking really fucking... Every time I do my eyebrows on camera, I don't do them as well as I like do them without me filming. I guess it's just the pressure of getting it to look perfect, but it's okay. We're going to go in and fix it. As you guys can see, this little area is still kind of like not filled in. So I'm going to just go in there. Very light handed and then there we have it. There is the eyebrow. Now I'm going to just kind of start to, I don't want it to be too bold right here. So I'm going to soften it up with the spoolie. Just like that. I'm going to also soften up this part right here so it looks more of a natural growth. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with them. I'm just going to go in here a little bit more. And once I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and carve out the eyebrows. You guys can use any concealer. I'm going to go in with the Benefit Cosmetics Boing Concealer. This is the Cakeless Concealer in the number 5. And I'm going to just go right underneath the eyebrow like this. And I'm just going to carve out the eyebrow with a flat brush. This here is a Sigma S20. And this is actually an eye cream brush, but I just, I don't know. I've been loving it for like the longest for carving out the eyebrows. Since it is a lot of concealer, I'm just going to go in there and I'm just going to clean that up. And I'm going to kind of go in here a little bit more. It's kind of difficult to talk and carve out my eyebrow because I want to be very precise. But you guys can see what I did there. So now that I've done that, I'm going to move all of the... Oh, fuck. Alright, that's fine. We're just going to go in there with some concealer. And clean it up again. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to go in there with a beauty sponge and just bring all that concealer down onto the rest of the lid. And once you've done that, you're ready for some eyeshadow application. This is how I usually do my makeup. I always start off with eyebrows, apply the concealer, apply the eyeshadow, and then apply the rest of my face. So you guys can see how clean that looks, and then you guys can compare it to my other eyebrow. Since we are doing our eyebrows with more affordable products, I'm going to be using this Morphe Brow Gel. This one is $6. I'm going to go I'm going to go in and just apply it to the eyebrows to make sure that they just stay in place and they don't move around. I did put quite a bit on accident, but this is going to dry down obviously clear and they're going to stay put. I kind of have mean eyebrows, don't I? <laughs> Alrighty, so now let's move on to the Precisely Brow Pencil. Here we have it. And for this one, I'm going to go right underneath the eyebrow once again. Keep in mind, these eyebrows are shaped differently, so you can't expect the same exact results. By the way, I didn't mention the eyebrow color for the Joa Beauty brow pencil, and I'm in the shade, what is this? Black Brown, and the Precisely brow pencil is in number six. I'm going in a little bit messier with this one, but we're just gonna fix that with the spoolie 
And under here, I kind of want to go a little bit thicker. Since this eyebrow is higher, I kind of want to draw the illusion that it's a little bit more lower than it actually is. So that's why I'm going to kind of color in this part a little bit more. This one's looking thick, thick. Alright, so I'm going to soften up those edges right there and then go in with the spoolie to soften up this part. And there is our eyebrow. That was pretty fast, right? Now I'm going to take the concealer once again. You can use any concealer that you want. Since I did put a lot, I'm going to start dragging this down. Alrighty, now I'm going to go ahead and blend this out with a beauty sponge. This is actually the little sponge that I received in this month's BoxyCharm. So just by taking a look at them, I'm seeing the differences already. I'm going to go in here and just darken up this part a little bit more. Where is this tutorial going, you guys? Fucking up. So I'm gonna go in here with the brow pencil and just drawing it in just a little bit more. Now I'm taking Gimme Brow and this one is in the shade number six. This retails for $24. And this is actually a tinted brow gel, so just be very, very careful when using it. I like using tinted brow gels whenever I apply. So when you apply your eyebrows first and then do your eyeshadow, sometimes your eyeshadow starts to fly up here onto your forehead and onto your eyebrows. So just to make sure that I don't have any eyeshadow on my eyebrows and it doesn't change the color of them, I do like going back over with the Gimme Brow. And that is why I like using this one. And I feel like the Morphe one has a little bit more of a stronger hold than this one. But they just kind of like work differently for me. And there are my eyebrows. That's how I do them. I don't like to clean up the top part of my eyebrows because I feel like they look more unnatural and more like blocked. I like to keep them more on a natural like, I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but I just like them to look a little bit more natural. So let me know. Do you guys see a difference between the brow products? Obviously you can see a difference between the shape of them, but I mean, whatever. Which one do you guys like best? This is the Benefit Brow. And this here is the Joa Beauty Brow. Joa and Morphe Brow. <laughs> I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to give my video a thumbs up. By doing so, it does help my video be seen by other people. And I just really appreciate your guys' support. I do have two giveaways going on right now. I have one on my Instagram, which I'm giving a hair trimmer. If you guys are quarantined, which you should be, unless you're essential. <laughs> I'm giving away a hair trimmer for, you know, you guys can be doing your kid's hair, your husband's hair, or maybe you just have a short haircut. <laughs> I'll go ahead and link that giveaway down below in my description box. That's for my Instagram. And also for my YouTube, I am giving away a menstrual cup. I'm actually giving away two of them, so I'll go ahead and link that video down below as well. And I also have a full review of the menstrual cup, how to use it, and all the benefits of it. Stay tuned for future makeup giveaways, which I feel like you guys, I, I feel like you guys want, so I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> Hit the notification bell down below, which will notify you every single time that I do have a new video here on my channel, and I really hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!